morning and welcome to Wake Up Wildcats. I'm Lily Hastings. And I'm Alexandra Delgado. Today is Monday, May 22nd, and it is an A day. T- today's weather forecast is rainy with a high of 76 and a low of 54. Let's head to Emily with a look at this week's weather. Good morning, Wildcats. I'm Emily McKay bringing you the weather forecast for this week. So it looks like the weather for Monday and Tuesday is going to be partly cloudy with temperatures between 53 and 76. Wednesday is predicted to be a 40% chance of rain with a high of 70 and a low of 53. And finally, Thursday and Friday, temperatures start to rise a little before the weekend. You can expect it to be cloudy and between 54 and 76. Let's go back to Lily and Alex for the rest of the announcements. For today's lunch, you can expect mini corn dogs or chicken tenders with a whole wheat dinner roll. Tomorrow, you can choose from spaghetti with meat sauce or cheese calzonettes. Attention all freshmen, the freshman class picnic will be held today in the senior court during all lunches. This is a free event for all freshmen. You will receive a ticket for entry in your homeroom class. Do not lose this ticket. The free picnic will include a hot dog, chips, drinks, cookies, and a snow cone from Skippy's Snowballs. See Ms. Craft in room 815 if you have any questions. Come out tomorrow night for the final orchestra concert. The show will start at 7 p.m. And starting this week, check out the Great Bridge Art Show in Roy's Alley and see some of the awesome artwork your fellow Wildcats have made this year. Miss P will be available this Wednesday in the library during all lunches to help juniors with preparing for college applications. It's never too early to get started. Remember, the early bird gets the worm. We continue celebrating Mental Health Awareness Month with some more mental health information. Today we talk about PTSD, also known as post-traumatic stress disorder. It is a mental health condition that is triggered by a terrifying event, either experiencing or witnessing it. Symptoms may include flashbacks, nightmares, and severe anxiety, as well as uncomfortable thoughts about the event. And now let's go to Riley for this week's upcoming sports events and a recap from last week. Happy Monday, Wildcats. I'm Riley Price. Let's get to our upcoming sports for this week. This sports season is wrapping up. Here are some updates from last week. Softball got another win. Wildcats defeated the Hornets 6-2. Freshman twins Gabby and Cassie Clyer both got two home runs. JV scored 8-5 with two hits, each from L.B. Scott and Leah Bell. For baseball, Varsity also had a 3-2 win against the Hornets. Matthew Good had two hits and scored two runs. Dawson Newman earned the win and also drove in a run. Finally, it was a close one for our JV team that sadly ended in a one-point loss to the Granby Comets. In varsity soccer, Great Bridge ran the field and beat Deep Creek 6-2. They were led by Cole Schuler with a hat trick and finished the regular season undefeated and as Southeastern District champions. Looking ahead, tennis continues their journey from last week in the regional tournament. Good luck to J.P. Zano and Owen Hill in singles and doubles along with Grayson Roy and Nathaniel Taylor in doubles. Also, shout out to Zano for being ranked number three in the region. Speaking of tennis, girls tennis has their regional tournament today, tomorrow, and Wednesday against Jamestown at 9 a.m. Tomorrow, varsity softball will play at 5.30 versus Deep Creek away. Good luck, Wildcats. And now let's get into today's joke, coming to you from sophomore Callie Street. Hey Alex, why didn't Han Solo enjoy his steak dinner? Why, Lily? It was chewy! (laughs) That was hilarious, Lily. Keep scanning that QR code. I love Star Wars! That's all for today, Wildcats. I'm Lily Hastings. And I'm Alexandra Delgado. Wake up, Wildcats. And make it a great day. (laughs) 